Hi, today I'm going to read you the story of the Civil War in a nutshell. In 1619, slaves came to America. Hey, how come we have to be the slaves? Not sure, sorry. Plantation owners in the South used slaves to grow crops like cotton. Hey, Eli, hurry up and invent the cotton gin. Who's asking? Bull, bull weevil. People in the North didn't grow many crops. They made things. Like what? Like shoes, clothes, railroads, and things. So they didn't need slaves. Nope. Some thought slavery was wrong. Abolitionist? Yes. The South ignored them, said they'd always had slaves and needed them. Everyone in the South owned slaves? No, very few did. Everyone in the North opposed slavery? No, but lots did. Americans also argued over whether the federal government, that's Washington, D.C., right? Yes. Or each state should have the most powerful laws. Like about slavery? like about slavery. New states joined as free states or slave states. Senator Henry Clay made a compromise law so states could decide for themselves. But people kept fighting over whether slavery was right or wrong. John Brown tried to lead a slave revolt. It didn't work. He was hanged for breaking the law. But people couldn't forget him. In 1860, Abraham Lincoln was elected president. Old Abe was against slavery. That made some people happy and others unhappy. That same year, South Carolina said, We don't want to be part of the United States of America anymore. Other states also seceded. How could they do that? They just did, even though it was illegal. Abe had a problem. The country was dividing into pieces. Georgia, Louisiana, Florida, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Virginia, Texas, Arkansas, North Carolina, and Tennessee became the Confederate States of America under the leadership of Jefferson Davis. They made their own flag, the rebel flag, right? Right, and their own government. That very year, Confederates, some called them rebels, and the Union, some called them Yanks, met up at Fort Sumter in South Carolina. With one shot, boom, the Civil War officially began. Boys, men, teenagers, grandpas, fathers, sons, brothers, uncles, even some girls wanted to fight. Soldiers picked their side, north or south, and joined the army. The first battle was at Bull Run, or Manassas, depending on whether you're a Yankee or Southerner. Confederates won hands down. Next, there was a battle between two iron ships, the Monitor and the Merrimack. Then... Battle of Shiloh, Seven Days Battle, Second Battle of Bull Run, and Battle of Antietam, bloodiest of the Civil War. There were soldiers fighting battles all over. While one was happening on a field in Virginia, another was happening by a creek in Alabama. There were too many to count. In 1863, Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. It said all slaves were free. The slaves loved it. The North loved it. The South hated it. Fighting continued in Chancellorsville, Tennessee. General Stonewall Jackson was hit. Pow! He died a few days later. Soldiers fought a bloody battle at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Thousands died on both sides, but the Union said they won. The Union had been losing most battles and wanted to quit, but Gettysburg revived their spirits. They fought in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Such a long battle, people ate rats, ew, and Chickamauga. On November 19, 1863, President Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address and said all men are created equal, even slaves, especially slaves. The South still didn't agree. The Civil War kept going. General Ulysses S. Grant became head of the Union Army. He led troops through the Battle of Wilderness and finally to Petersburg, Virginia. The Union backed the Confederates into a corner. It was quiet. No gunshots, cannons, or fighting. Soldiers stared at each other, waiting, waiting, waiting for someone to make a move. While those soldiers waited in Virginia, other Confederates tried to protect Atlanta, Georgia from the Yankees. General William T. Sherman led Union soldiers toward Atlanta. The rebels pushed against Sherman. Sherman pushed against the rebels. Sherman won. He burned Atlanta to the ground. Then he walked through almost the entire state with his entire army. 
he ended up in Savannah, Georgia, which he gave to President Lincoln as a Christmas gift. Back in Petersburg, those soldiers were still staring at each other until the Confederates tried to protect an important railroad station. They failed. They marched to Richmond, Virginia with the Union on their heels. Richmond was the Confederate States of America's capital. The soldiers, led by General Robert E. Lee, did all they could to protect Richmond. They failed. They kept marching backwards, slowly running from the Union. The Confederates ended up at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. Robert E. Lee had nowhere to turn. He didn't want any more men to die. He surrendered. Lee and Grant met. Lee signed surrender papers. Grant said Lee was dignified and took defeat gracefully. So the war was over? Yes, officially, but some battles continued until the word got around. By the time the four-year war was over, over 618,000 men had died. It took years to rebuild the South and help the slaves learn how to be free. But the United States was one nation again. What did the soldiers do? They went home. And that's the story of the Civil War.